I'm so tired, you guys. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back with my Monday grocery haul and meal plan. I am so sinking exhausted, you guys. It is 11.30 at night, which always seems to be my habit of filming my grocery hauls so late. But by the time we get home from Jake's church and we unload the kids, our focuses, our tubs, and getting everybody with their medicines and off to bed and all that good stuff, and by the time I actually sit down and get a quiet house to do this, it is always this late. So. I really didn't have a whole lot to get. I only spent $60.88, and most of this was for some really fun things that I have coming up this week and some yellow sticker clearance items because you know how mama feels about her clearance items. So let me turn the camera around, show you what I got at Walmart, and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of my $60 and 88 cents. I think I did pretty good for the things that I got and like I said most of this was special treats and a few things for recipes for the week. Um, so I saw these and these were like a specialty St. Patrick's limited edition thing. Um, I thought these looked really cute and of course I'm doing like a St. Patrick's Day themed lunch week for Jake and he said that even though he's not really over the moon about mint. He thinks that he still may actually like these. So I'm excited. It's He's stepping out of his comfort zone. I'm willing to try something different. So I grabbed that. This was on that discount clearance side. So this is the Good Bean Chili Lime Crunchy Chickpeas. And it's whole beans, six grams of protein. And it was $2.23. Leanne from Grady's Mom, she always likes Snapchats about these kind of things. She's always like so brave to try this. And she snapped some kind of crunchy chickpea thing and said it was really good. So it sounds really good for good protein. I'm gonna give them a try. I actually think this might be the kind of flavor Jake might be into. So maybe he'll try that and that would be good too because this would be a good protein snack for me to send with him. Uh, I got this Vermont Extra Sharp White Cheddar Cheese for a recipe this week. Got a can of pineapple slices for a recipe. Um, some chocolate chips, that's for our recipe as well. Um, got these Walmart brand French vanilla coffee pods. I really think I'm gonna go back to buying my pods at Walmart. Um, they are about 19 cents cheaper than Aldi's. Same count and everything, but they have some different flavors. So um, sometimes maybe I'll splurge for the extra 19 cents and get a flavor from Aldi's that I can't get at Walmart and vice versa. Um, I got this Mountain Dew um, just because I've had the Mountain Dew dad on my brain. So that was for you, Mark. Um, and then I got a thing of the Scott paper towels and then got a thing of our French vanilla creamer. We did the chickpeas already. Got a thing of sour cream. Got some whipped cream. That's for a recipe. Um, so I picked these things up and this was in the, obviously in the clear section too, but there's always like really good deals. I feel like on cake mixes and stuff, they'll run like dollar deals, but they never have deals on frosting. So I always feel like I pick up all the cake mixes and everything whenever they do good couponing deals, but I never have frosting to go with it. So this is just a radiant vanilla. I probably really won't use the sprinkles. I don't really like to use dyed sprinkles like that, but I will just use the plain old vanilla um, frosting. And then this is like the Funfetti, which we love the Funfetti. This is vanilla marshmallow and it comes with the extra sprinkles, which those are Easter-ish. Maybe we'll use those for Easter. And then this sounded really good. That says it's chocolate marshmallow and they were all a dollar. So I thought that was good. Um, I got the unsweetened cocoa powder and that is for a recipe. And this chocolate pudding goes with that recipe as well. 
Um, I thought these were super cute and these were on clearance and actually I'm gonna snap a picture of this and send it to Nicole Burgess because I know her kids love Paw Patrol and I thought these were really cute and they had so many of these so I'll go back and pick some up and they had Shopkins so I don't know if Vanessa's girls would want little Shopkins so I'm gonna snap these to the girls and see if any of them want me to pick up these cutesy sprinkles for their kids because $1.48 for those cute little sprinkles I thought was a great deal. Uh, this is the only like decor piece thing that I picked up. Um, I thought these were really cute when Nicole did her shop with me through Walmart. Um, I saw her haul the, well, I don't think she hauled them. I think she just showed them, but she did haul ones like these from the Target dollar spot and I have not been able to find them. Um, they were two eighty four. I don't think that's so bad, but I think that's going to be so like farmhouse and cute to put out as decor. So that's the only thing I like splurged on and picked up for myself. Um, ranch packet, Mississippi chicken, um, paper plates. Seriously, you guys, the last few weeks, every time I go in there, it looks like they're on like paper plate strike. There's never any paper plates. This was like the only kind there was besides some little tiny Dixie plates that I don't even know what I was going to be able to do with that. So, um, so I just got these and I don't know. I hope these are good. I don't usually like to use these plasticky kind of ones. I just like to use like regular paper, but, um, I got a Frank's Red Hot, I got this Welsh's passion fruit juice, so I need um, like seriously a third of a, a third of a cup of passion fruit for a recipe, but this is the only passion fruit thing I can find, and it's specifically called for passion fruit juice. So I picked this up, not that the kids won't like it, and I'll probably like it and just put it in the fridge for myself, but I really only needed like this much of this whole thing. You guys, how good does this sound? So this is Sam's Choice, which is a Walmart line, and it's their triple chocolate brownie mix, and it's a dollar, it was a dollar forty-eight. So I grabbed that just to put in the um, pantry. Uh, I also needed the white grape juice for a recipe. Yeah, I needed like a third of a cup of that. This was the smallest one I can find. So these two are gonna go in a smoothie. Uh, our two gallons of milk, a thing of bananas, some fresh spinach that's going to go in that smoothie as well. And I'm just going to use the rest for salads for the week. Um, got a thing of Jake's cereal. He actually said he was not fond of the Lucky Charms that though they weren't as good as the chocolate matey. So um, I picked these up for him and then I got a big thing of heavy whipping cream because a couple of recipes I need this week call for heavy whipping cream. Um, and that's it. So that's what I got for 60 bucks. I'll adjust the description box for where we are on this month's budget and let's get into the meal plan. You guys, stickers are so fun. I just need to say that this whole journaling, having a planner thing is like, I didn't know how therapeutic it would be to put stickers. I don't know. Um, okay, so this is the first full week of March. So I got to use a new page, a new color. Um, so this is the week of March the 5th through March the 11th. So starting off our week on Monday with a new recipe I found on Pinterest. So this will be in the description box for a pineapple bacon cheeseburgers. It just felt very tropical and like, just definitely the feel of summer on the dawning here when we're having 75 and 80 degree days. It certainly feels like summer's around the corner. So uh, we're gonna do that with pasta salad and I love doing veggies on the grill when we throw anything on the grill. So we'll do that. And then um, Tuesday, we're gonna go out with Leanne from Grady's Mom. She is really close to leaving. So our times to hang out are really going to be slim to none. So we're taking the kids that day to Chuck E. Cheese after school. So I wanna have something in the crock pot so I don't have to stress about dinner. So Mississippi chicken is always my go-to. Uh, I have a cooking video for that. So I'll put a card up top and in the description box. Um, and we're just, I like to do that with mashed potatoes cause I love pouring the gravy over that. And we'll do that with green beans. Um, so this is gonna have to change. We're doing hot dogs and then um, I have a collab coming up on Friday. So Nicole Burgess's Foodie Fridays, we're doing some more copycat recipes. So I'm doing a copycat recipe of Panera mac and cheese. I'm so excited about that, but I didn't want to waste it and like just make it to make it. So I want to make it as a meal. So we're going to have this that night um, and I'm going to film it, but I put watermelon here because the kids have been begging for it. And I thought that sounded fresh 
with like mac and cheese and hot dogs, like very like summer feeling, but all the Walmart, all the Walmart, all the watermelon at Walmart, it was either $6.97 for a watermelon. I know it's out of season, but come on. And then like the pre-diced ones looked awful. So I'm gonna have to change the fruit somewhere in here. I mean, we have tons of fruit, but I really wanted watermelon. So I don't know, maybe I'll make a fruit salad or something to make up for that. Uh, Thursday, we're gonna do French onion chicken. I do have a cooking video for that. So that'll be in the description box. We're gonna do that gorgeous rainbow cauliflower from Trader Joe's and then um, some roasted potatoes. Um, Friday is of course Lent, so we're not eating meat. So we're just gonna do fish sticks with potato latkes and the Caesar salad kit that I got from Aldi's. Um, and then Saturday we're gonna do enchiladas with Mexican rice and nachos and salsa. We love all of that like Mexican stuff. And then Sunday we'll do a steak sandwich with tater tots and broccoli. That is my dad's birthday, so uh, my dad doesn't watch these, but my mom does. So, mom, make sure you show dad that I said happy birthday to him and everybody else. Shout out to my dad. Give wish him a happy birthday. Um, and then that is it. Oh, um, on Thursday, I am going out with Leanne. That's our final day out. We're going to vlog both of us together that day. So, if you don't follow Leanne from Grady's Mom, go check her out um, and keep an eye out for that video because that'll be a really fun and very emotional and you know we're kind of pulling out all the stops because it's our last like day together um and that is it um i also wrote here make sure you guys are checking out my other social media pages i don't post as much on instagram and facebook as i would like but i usually snapchat throughout the day just because it's a little quicker so if you guys ever want to see the reviews or some of the processes of me cooking some of these things or meal planning or all of that make sure to follow me there that's it for this week's grocery haul guys so thank you again so much for watching if you're new make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell so you don't miss any of these really awesome videos that are coming up on saturday for my saute saturday which was for some of the ingredients you guys saw here i'm doing some more copycat recipes just because i couldn't decide what to share with nicole so i'm going to be doing a starbucks java chip frappuccino um, with starbucks double fudge brownies and i'm also making panera's tropical smoothie with the mac and cheese so a lot of awesome cooking videos coming up this week so hopefully you guys are interested make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you guys like this video and i'll see you guys all next time bye guys